Hungry for the latest garden gossip? This week, we're bringing some fantastic garden events that will celebrate the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, which is on Thursday. In Southern California, two different botanic gardens are opening new gardens to the public for the very first time. Other fun events include free music in both Southern and Northern California. And in Central California, families can have fun celebrating Peter Rabbit's birthday. Today, we're at beautiful California Botanic Garden here to explore the new bird and butterfly garden. So today we're exploring California Botanic Garden and we're gonna also be talking about garden events for this week. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel, California Garden Goddess. I'm Anna and I'm a fourth generation grower gardening in the gorgeous foothills of the Angeles National Forest in Zone 10A. I love gardening and visiting beautiful gardens has become one of my main passions and joys in life. I'd love to share my garden tours, events, and do it yourself with you. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. It's just a small gesture, but it really helps my channel grow so that I can share more wonderful garden content with you all. Why don't you come on a walk with me as we tour California Botanic Garden in Claremont. This week, Southern California is actually going to have two new gardens opening up in celebration of the summer solstice, which is actually today. It's June 20th. It's actually one of the earliest summer solstices in hundreds of years. I forgot exactly how many, but it's so beautiful here today at California Botanic Garden. So this week and weekend, there's actually going to be free music at a lot of these different places. So you'll be actually able to get in to all these gardens for just one low admission. I talked about that in a previous video and you can watch that after this video. The Santa Barbara Botanic Garden, they're actually going to be hosting a beautiful event for the summer solstice this weekend on Friday as well. Garden members can enter for $7 for adults, $5 for children, and the general public can enter for $10 for adults and children for $8. Registration is required at the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden, but you'll be honoring light, nature, and togetherness at the summer solstice celebration. So you'll get to enjoy the garden after hours during the longest day of the year while creating solstice crafts and appreciating the boundless energy of the sun. So in San Clemente, California, the Casa Romantica, which is a nice botanic garden perched on the edge of the Pacific Ocean, they're actually going to have some music. So you'll be able to check that out this Friday. Coffee concerts will be held from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Friday, and it will be featuring Corey and Jelly in partnership with High Tide Coffee, enjoy a cup of coffee, and watch an acoustic performance with local musicians. Free with general admission, RSVP is optional but appreciated. The Santa Barbara Botanic Garden, they're actually going to be hosting a beautiful event for the summer solstice this weekend on Friday as well. Families are invited to a summer solstice celebration as the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden honors light, nature, and togetherness. Enjoy the garden after hours during the longest day of the year while creating solstice crafts and appreciating the boundless energy of the sun. Pricing is listed on their website, but registration is required ahead of time if you want to go to the Santa Barbara Botanic Garden for summer solstice. Next, we're going to take a look at the California Botanic Garden's new bird and butterfly garden that's opening up this weekend. In January 2022, this area was a mess because there was a huge windstorm that knocked down a bunch of trees. And so this garden was actually built from the remains of that event. On Saturday, here at the California Botanic Garden, they're going to have a ton of different activities for you to participate. Everything from learning about how to garden and bring more wildlife to your yard, such as the monarch butterfly with milkweed classes. You'll also be able to take other classes on arts and crafts. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, there will be arts and crafts, expert booths, an activity sheet, and more. From 5 to 6.30 p.m., there will be an opening reception and cocktail hour for floral fluorescence photography exhibit in the Sage Gallery. On Sunday, they're going to change up the schedule a little bit. They're actually going to have a mariachi band here. That should be a lot of fun for the family. You'll also be able to participate in more arts and crafts. And they're going to even have food trucks here to enjoy the delicious food in these beautiful surroundings. On Sunday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., the floral fluorescence exhibit will be open in the Sage Gallery. And from 4 to 8 p.m., arts and crafts, 
an activity sheet and more will be available. From 4.30 to 7.30 p.m., there'll be a food truck and drinks, and then the mariachi will be performing at 5 and 6.30 p.m. Later in the week, the Huntington is actually going to be opening up a new garden as well. They're going to be opening up a Chinese medicinal garden, so that's going to be a great thing to check out on Wednesday. I got a sneak peek at the Chinese medicinal garden, so I'll show you some clips of the garden and they're actually going to be a hosting and opening reception on Wednesday. On Wednesday, June 26th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Huntington Library Art Museum and Botanical Gardens, you can celebrate the opening of the new Chinese medicinal garden and learn about some of the most important plants used in Chinese medicine for the past 2,000 years. Descanso Gardens out of Flint Ridge is hosting a Korean art exhibition opening, so that'll be a lot of fun to check out next Thursday. On Thursday, June 27th from 5 to 7 p.m., join Descanso Gardens for the open reception of flowers and birds in Korean American art. On Friday in Central California, if you're near Hanford, the Children's Storybook Garden and Museum will actually be hosting a birthday party for Peter Rabbit. So there's actually going to be a special surprise visit from a special rabbit friend and you'll be able to do some arts and crafts with the kids. Families can also participate in an egg hunt and members are free but there is a $10 admission fee for non-member adults and $5 for non-member children at the door. And in Northern California, the Sonoma Botanic Garden is continuing with its series of sunset series acoustic music on Wednesday. The Sonoma Botanic Garden will be opening up its doors from 6 to 8 p.m. for music and extending its hours every Wednesday for the rest of the summer. So enjoy this Wednesday, the June 26th. There'll be Clay Bell will be playing at the Sonoma Botanic Garden. Now that it's summer, you may think it's not the right time to go see native plants, but they're still blooming. Look, this is the first day of summer. Look how beautiful this bird and butterfly garden really is. It's gorgeous. And I'm so excited that they turned something, something that was such a desolation. You can see where the trees were cut down and everything. So look at how beautiful this is. And this shows you that gardens can spring to life. It doesn't matter if something bad happens to your garden, you can always succeed. You can always change your garden and bring in more beauty. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe and check out this video if you wanna have more information about how you can get access to more than 360 gardens for just one low price.